Uh, I'm Tremaine Caseman. I'm doing a PhD in aerospace engineering, and I've just finished my Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering at Rice University in Houston, Texas. I'm studying hypersonic separated flow in a rarefied gas environment. Uh, what that means is I'm looking at the temperature and velocity of a particular flow condition that's found in uh, hypersonic vehicle flight, planetary reentry, that sort of thing. And I'm taking the data from that and I'm comparing it to computational models that other researchers are working on and doing an analysis between what we, what we simulate in our computers and what the actual experimental values are. My name is Priyanka Dopade and I'm from Toronto, Canada. And um, I came to UNSW Camera to do a PhD in aerospace engineering. My PhD project um, is related to gas turbines or jet engines and I'm looking at the front part of the engine which has the huge fan and looking at the vibration of the blades and how that affects the, the overall fatigue life of the blades and um, how it induces cracks and how the cracks propagate. A big reason of why I picked UNSW Canberra is because I wanted to study abroad outside of the United States for a while and as I'm doing aerospace engineering it's a pretty limited field and uh, UNSW hit the bill with that. They have a fantastic aerospace research program. Um, they're doing a lot of research in the area that I'm interested in and I decided to go for it. What I like the most about living in um, Canberra is that it's uh, it's the capital of Australia and a lot of interesting interesting things happen here which maybe other Australians you know don't realize or don't know about. I just like I feel safe here compared to maybe even Toronto like being in the city um, there's not that much crime and especially women's safety. Uh, every day involves going into the lab and reading a lot of papers and a lot of textbooks that's pretty standard and um, play indoor soccer things like that. Uh, yeah, free access to the gym is, is really nice. Uh, being able to use the facilities <laughs> whenever we want is really handy because sometimes reading some papers, things don't make a whole lot of sense and then go do something else for a while, come back and, and get back into the, the swing of things, which is nice. Future aspirations, I was always the kid who wanted to be an astronaut and never grew out of that phase. So I would love to do that eventually, but uh, joining the astronaut corps is really, really tough. So. Afterwards, I'm looking to get into industry research, perhaps, and to work on the next generation of aircraft, um, both passenger and military, or the next generation of spacecraft. So after my PhD, um, I've applied for a postdoc, postdoctoral research position at University of Oxford at the Osney Thermofluids Lab, and they, you know, deal a lot with jet engines and same kind of uh, things that I've been studying in my PhD. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next two years.